Hey guys, y'all are so eager to get started, so I wanted to go ahead and post probably the most popular video, and that's food prep. Um, please pardon me. <laughs> I'm not showered yet, I have greasy hair, no makeup on, but I am getting the sense that everybody is really eager to start, and so I wanted to go ahead and get this video made and up for you so that you can um, start thinking about your food prep which is probably the most important part to this whole thing is preparing and getting ready and having your food, um, healthy food, ready to go. So what I suggest is that you find the best way for you to prepare your food and to do your food prep. I know when I first started out as a challenger, my coach recommended doing it on Sunday to take you know a couple hours or an hour on Sunday to go shopping, come home, prep food, and get it ready for the week. Um, I got really stressed out because what I would find is that Sunday afternoon would come along and I would all of a sudden have three hungry kids, it would be five o'clock, and I hadn't gone to the grocery store yet, and it was just really stressing me out because I had in my head, I've gotta do food prep on Sunday. Well, what I would like to say to you is do food prep whenever you can. There's no right or wrong, wrong way to do it. Um, it's really up to you to find the best way for it to fit into your schedule. For me, I do it on Monday mornings. So I take all my kids to school. As soon as I drop the last one off, I go to the grocery store, get my food for the week, and come home and prepare what I can. Um, I also go to Costco once a month and then probably Trader Joe's once a week as well. So don't let it stress you out. Just know that the first time you go shopping, the first time you prep, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to take a little bit longer. It might be a little bit stressful. But once you do this, it's going to become second nature. At this point, I don't even take a list to the grocery store. I just know the things that I buy every week, and I go and grab those. I know what I buy every month, and I go and grab those. So you'll get much, much better at this the more you do it. So next week should be much, much easier. Um, and um, so this week, what I would recommend is take the eating plan, guide, go through it, see which foods you like from each container, and just make a list and start there. Uh, if you were a part of my um, five-day clean eating group, you'll know that what I recommend is just to keep it simple. That is what I recommend for my challengers too. So, for instance, I eat the same thing for breakfast, and I almost eat the same thing for lunch every single day too. That is what helps me out. That's, I don't get stressed. I know every morning I'm gonna have Greek yogurt, and for lunch I might have fatouche, or some leftover soup, or a salad. So don't, you don't have to create all these amazing recipes. If you've been on Pinterest and started a board and saved all these 21 day fix recipes, great. Don't let them stress you out. Just keep it simple, especially here in the beginning. I would much rather you keep it super simple so that you're not stressed and you kind of get the hang of it, get the hang of the containers, and then in a couple weeks, start adding in more recipes. Um, it's really not a hard concept, but this whole food prep thing does kind of stress people out. So that's why I recommend just keeping it as simple as possible. So you might have different things on your shopping list. Um, I'm just going to show you and talk about how I go about prepping and um, then let you add in what you want. Um, so when I go to Costco once a month, I always get my big, big thing of Greek yogurt. I usually get two of these. Um, oh, and by the way, if you are struggling with Greek yogurt and how to make it um, more edible, let me know. I have some tips. I know in the beginning, um, I didn't really like the texture. I'm a very, very picky eater. I'm, um, there's certain textures I just don't like. And Greek yogurt I, kind of grossed me out in the beginning. Now I love it, and I promise you I eat it every single day for breakfast. And it's delicious. It's packed with protein. It's really cheap if you get it at Costco. This is like 48 ounces, and I think it's maybe 4 or $5 for this thing. It's, it's a great deal. So, again, if you need tips on how to um, get yourself used to liking it, let me know. I can tell you what to do. Um, so I get a big thing of Greek yogurt at Costco. I get a big thing of feta cheese. I typically pick up a big thing of spinach. Um, I can get eggs. I get all of my ingredients for um, homemade granola. I just made a big batch yesterday as part of my prep. So I'll eat this for, this will probably last for several weeks. Um, 
and I sprinkle, I do Greek yogurt, sprinkle a little bit of granola on top, and do half a purple of uh, fresh blueberries. So that's another thing when I go to Costco, um, I do get a lot of fresh fruit and fresh vegetables there. Um, of course, those don't last for a month, but they last at least for a week, and that's a great way to shop. Um, I've got this ginormous thing. It's like a weight of coconut oil. <laughs> I use this a lot for cooking and also for my granola. Um, what else do I get from Costco? A big thing of hummus. Um, typically for lunch every day, is, I take a half a whole wheat pita, spread a little bit of hummus, and put some fatouche and sprinkle it with feta cheese. And it makes a super yummy, delicious lunch that's easy. So I have all my ingredients for fatouche. And if you're wondering what, for, what fatouche is, the recipe is in the file section of our group. So be sure to check the file section. There are lots and lots of recipes. You can also Google things. You can go to the Team Beachbody website. They put a ton of recipes up. And I've been really pleasantly surprised with all the ones I've tried. They've been really, really delicious. Um, so I make a big batch of fatouche on Monday mornings and I kind of nibble on that either as a side to my dinner or as a main lunch dish um, during the week. So I get my fatouche supplies. Um, a lot of people start their week out with some boiled eggs. Go for it. I personally ate so many boiled eggs during my first two rounds that now I just can't do boiled eggs. I do get eggs and I have scrambled eggs and omelets and other things, but I just can't do boiled eggs. But that's another great way to get your protein in um, for lunch or for breakfast. Um, I buy chicken. Typically what I do with my chicken, again, keep it simple. I typically just bake it. My mother-in-law just gave me this great convection oven, which has just changed my food prep, to be quite honest. It makes it so much easier and faster. So I take the chicken, I put it on some parchment paper, I squeeze half a lemon over two chicken breasts, and then I either sprinkle salt and pepper or one of my seasoning mixes that I've already talked to you about in the welcome, I think, did I talk to you about in the welcome video? I hope I did, I'm pretty sure I did, um, from the eating plan guide. So again, I use those um, seasoning mixes on vegetables, rice, protein, anything and everything, just sprinkle those seasoning mixes seasoning mix over. Um, so a lot of times on Mondays, I will make a batch of brown rice. I will make um, several chicken breasts and go ahead and have those chopped and prepared in the fridge. I also clean some vegetables and chop those so that I have them ready. Um, you can also um, go ahead and, and roast vegetables. A lot of people do that. I personally, um, typically, this is what I do. I, like I said, I have the same breakfast and lunch all week long. I'm sorry, I'm going to repeat myself because I just want to make sure you know just to keep it simple. So same breakfast and lunch all week long. And then for dinners, I mix it up. So I don't really, a lot of people will roast vegetables on Sunday or Monday for the entire week. I do that every night and I just pick a different vegetable and um, match it with protein and just do that. Um, lately, I, I will tell you in January, I really, really struggled with my eating. The weather got colder. I was craving heartier foods and I did not want to eat salads. I didn't even want to wash the lettuce. I didn't want my hands to touch cold water. So I'm, I am constantly, um, you know, trying to figure out different ways to work in healthy eating. And the, to be honest, this is my first winter doing this. So what I have found is if I make, make a big batch of soup, then I eat on that. For instance, I had the healthy Greek lentil soup just now for lunch, and it's delicious and easy, probably easier than making a salad. So I'm going to try to find some more soup and stew kind of recipes to post in the file section. I know that there's at least the um, healthy Greek lentil soup. There should be a lemon chicken quinoa soup. Um, I believe there's at least one or two chili recipes. So that's what I would recommend if you're, gonna, if you're struggling like me. When the weather was warmer, I could eat salads all day long and I just kind of switched up the um, toppings to keep it, you know, to have some variety in there. But right now, I'm just craving heartier food. So that's what I would recommend is just making a big, big batch of soup or chili and just kind of eat off that. Also, when I make my chili and soups, I double the vegetables that they recommend. So if it says two stalks of celery, I add in four. If it says, you know, a cup of chopped 
carrots, I add in two cups. So I always double the vegetables so I'm getting more, especially if it's spinach, like for the um, healthy lentil soup, you add in spinach at the end. I just pack that thing full of spinach. Um, one tip with spinach is uh, if you want it to last longer, stick a paper towel in there to absorb the, absorb the moisture. And I find that my spinach lasts longer, although I go through it so quickly because I'm putting it in my shakes. So um, it's really not an issue, but I still just keep it in there so that the spinach doesn't get yucky. Um, what else can I tell you about food prep? Um, again, I, I'm repeating myself, but I just really want you to keep it simple and know that it is going to get easier every time you do it, every week, but just go ahead. Hang on just one sec. I'm doing a video. Sorry. Um, but just keep it simple. Find something that you like for breakfast. Find some things that you like for lunch and then mix it up for your dinners. Even if you have to buy a rotisserie chicken and do something easy, that's that's absolutely a, a great option. So if you have any questions about food prep or any, if you're looking for any specific recipes, just let me know. And I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, just post them below. Thanks.